Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and this is Utoxin Plays Kerbal Space Program. And this is Tara the Ugly, his sidekick, ready to roll. She is not ugly. She lies. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to be coughing a fair bit during this episode, because talking aggravates my throat. Um, but I am pretty much over the nasty, horrible, evil zombie virus that tried to kill me over Christmas. Um, it sucked! It really sucked. I was out of work for two weeks, and I didn't get to enjoy it at all. Um, anyway, um, while I'm waiting for my good buddies at Failure Inc. to come up with a uh, single-player challenge mod pack for me for Minecraft, I need something else to occupy some of my time. So we're going to play some Kerbal Space Program. There's been a lot of updates since I last played much, and I also am playing with two mods. I'm playing with the Ferrum Aerospace mod, which greatly improves uh, aerodynamics and how drag works and all that kind of stuff. And I'm playing with Deadly Reentry, which means that I have to be careful how I come back into the atmosphere, because if I don't, I die. <coughs> Sorry, there's my cough, my first one. Um, so, um, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Um... First, let's go in and take a look at our research, because they've got cool research stuff now. Let's see, we got some heat shields, okay, awesome, basic command pods, this is all very basic parts, um, okay, yep, all very basic. And we need five science to unlock that. All right, five science it is. We will go get it. Uh, we want to get as much science as we can per mission. Um, so let's go into the uh, vehicle assembly building and see about making a rocket. Okay, well, start with the command pod. <coughs> oh, sorry, that cough is going to be annoying, but I will try not to do it too much. Okay. <coughs> And my wife still has a bit of a cough as well, as you probably just heard. Let's go ahead and, well, let's see. First, we need to make this pod safe. Um, where are, where's the, there's the heat shields, okay. Um, which heat shield do we need for this? That one. Okay. Hmm. I don't have any stage separation capability in this. That's going to make things interesting. Hmm. Um, well, for this first flight, maybe we don't use a heat shield? I'm not sure. Um, now let's, let's try without one, because I don't know how to integrate a heat shield into this whole thing. Oh, and by the way, I should show you. I've got my mission flag here, uh, using my ham radio call sign. Should look pretty awesome. Alright, so let's go with... How about a couple fuel tanks? <coughs> the liquid fueled engine. Hey, come on. Then we're going to use a trick I learned from watching um, Scott Manley. We are going to do some uh, destructive staging. <laughs> I think is what I'll call it. Okay, we stack those up, then oh, that's handy, my uh, Fraps recording indicator is right in my way right there. Okay, so that drops down into that stage, that drops down into that stage, then we've got that stage, okay. Then I need to go to utility, um, hello, parachute please, thank you, put a parachute on top. I don't have any side parachutes, so I guess I have to hope that's enough. Hmm. Well, well, we don't learn if we don't try. Um, we're probably going to get one of the immortals on this first trip, so if they die, oh well. Um, drag that down into there. There we go. Okay. Let's go see how much trouble we can get into with this rocket. I suspect it's going to be quite a lot of trouble. <laughs> Let's name this, um, 
deadly test vehicle mark one <laughs> why not that sounds good someone just messaged me oh it's one of the failure ink guys I'll talk to him in a minute um, all right to the launch pad we go loaded in. Now, I wish I wish I could move this. Unlock position and size. I can't seem to move it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it won't move. Um, let's uh, hide the border, though, so at least it's not blocking up part of my screen. Alright. So the way this staging works is these, if they overheat, will explode and drop off. And so we start with the bottom one. Then when it's about done, we fire this one to overheat it and blow it off. Then when it's about done, we fire this one to overheat it and blow it off. Let me go ahead and throttle up, because I'll want that up. And uh, we got Jebediah, so we got one of the Immortals. And here goes nothing. And, oh shoot, which... Let me fix my keyboard. Where's the indicator I want over there? I want the 90 degree indicator over there. Okay, so I'm rotating around at 180 degrees right now. There we go. Sorry, I had my keyboard on the wrong layout. Okay, let's go ahead and just slowly start ticking over. Oh, I need to fire the second one. There we go. See? See how that worked? I almost missed it because I wasn't paying attention. I was too worried about my uh, gravity turn starting here. <coughs> and start tipping it over. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to get to orbit like this. I need to fire the second one, and... Oh, shoot. Well, now it's stuck there. That's a problem. And now I'm spinning, almost out of control. Oh, dear. Um, I should get a crew report report, please. I didn't put any transmitter on this, so we'll just have to keep it. Oh, that's a failure on my part. <coughs> Let's go ahead and tip over a bit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get the parachute deployed. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. <laughs> this is a disaster. Um, oh, dear. Oh dear, no. I'm probably not going to survive this. Um, can I get a hold of that? Can I review report? Can we transmit data? No comms device. Can't transmit data. Okay, well, lesson learned. Let's uh, see what happens with this. I suspect we're going to die horrifically. Um, uh, throttle down so we can accelerate. Okay, that stopped the spin at least. That's good. <coughs> Sorry about that. I will try to uh, mute those coughs a bit so they're not overwhelming. Okay. And we're starting to come back down. Okay. We didn't get a lot of orbital velocity, so maybe we'll survive this. I'm not betting on it, though. I'm betting we are not going to survive. Oh, look, and we have our spin back. Hmm. Okay, watch our temperature here. That's one of the key elements. Oh, gosh. Um, are there G-Force? I think there's G-Force deathly re-entry effects, too. So, hmm, this could be really bad. Okay, we're still cold, so that's good at least. We're actually not that fast, so we might survive this. Okay, we're up to negative... 30 something. Okay, about past 0C. Still accelerating. Okay, come on, start decelerating. The parachute is active, so it should deploy at some point here. Um, I wonder if I can uh, stabilize this with the SAS. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we can stabilize it some with the SAS. There goes the parachute. Okay, 
We'll survive this heat-wise anyway. We'll see if we survive the landing. Um, I... <laughs> the nose must be a lot heavier than the rest or something. Uh, we're getting some atmospheric shock effects there. Okay. This is going to be a mess here in just a second when this parachute pops open. And about to open... Right now. That's not good. Well, everybody died. <laughs> okay, well, um... Failed first mission. Failed badly. <laughs> oh, let's see. The fuel tank collided with the parachute. Oh, dang it. Okay. Let's revert to the vehicle assembly building. Uh, we're up to ten minutes already. I'll see how long I can keep going. My throat is already telling me it's not enjoying this. Um, come on. There we go. I need a communitron. Up here. <coughs> and this has a lot more thrust than I thought it did. We can get a lot higher up than I expected. Um, so... With that on there, and a knowledge of how this flies, let's go ahead and uh, save it and try again. Um, hopefully this time I don't screw up so badly. We will go for a much more uh, flat trajectory. Take a crew report here. Doesn't get us much, but uh, transmit it. Okay, there we go. Throttle this up, because we'll want it up. Um, my keyboard layout is set correctly this time, so I won't have the same issue I had last time. And fire. Just slowly, automatically start setting my uh, gravity turn in that direction. Okay, come on. Come on. And pay attention this time, and do it as necessary. That a little early, but we'll do it. And try and get this back down on profile. Come on, come on, let's get back on profile here. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to get back on profile. getting a flat trajectory here. This is a little bit more than a gravity turn, really, but I don't want to get too high up. And I want to be nice and flat when I run out of fuel, if I can get there. So let's uh, do a crew report now. Transmit it. I don't know if that transmitted or not. Review report? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I don't know what I just did. Um, review report. Transmit. Okay. Got some data. 3.5 science. Let's do a crew report. Okay. Wow, I got up to... Wow, how high did I get? Um, oh, oh dear. I may be doomed. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got that much? I could easily get into orbit with that thing if I flew it better. Holy cow. Okay. Well, at least I got a little science from this one, even if I don't end up surviving. Let's, uh... Let's uh, throttle down, uh, just X, and let's uh, time warp here so you guys don't have to watch all of this. <coughs> uh, 
Oh, this is gonna be bad. I am so doomed. <laughs> okay, coming back down. That is far too steep a re-entry to survive, I believe. Especially at these speeds. Okay, slow back down. How far out am I? Let's uh, do a trick I've learned. How to maneuver. Two minutes from there, okay. Um, map, and okay. Make sure to do my next stage. Oh, I'm still in time acceleration. Stage, please. Okay. This is going to suck. <laughs> um, I wish I could move that button. It's annoying. I don't know how to move it. If anyone knows how to move that button, uh, let me know. I can move it on the uh, vehicle assembly building screen, but I can't figure out how to move it from this screen. So, any tips would be helpful. And we are about a minute out still. Accelerate. Um, okay, we're going to be coming down into the atmosphere here soon. I'm going way quick. Okay, let's uh, get a uh, inspection window up here so I can watch my heat as I probably incinerate my entire pod and just and kill Jebediah Kerman temporarily and all that kind of, all that kind of good stuff. Still accelerating. Yep, yep. Thousand C, thousand C. Fifteen hundred. Thirty. Yep, yep. They're dead. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <coughs> all right. Um. Do I hit escape now? Yeah. Um. Is it? like trying to calculate stuff or should I just uh, abort? I don't think abort does anything at this point. Uh, back to the space center we go. Let's uh, at least get that do something with that science I picked up. That should help us a little bit anyway. We have five science and that's how much we need for this. Yay! Um, that gives us some decouplers that's good. Yep. Yay, decouplers. Some more fuel tanks. The mystery goo. Okay, with this we can actually like do something uh, productive before the end of the episode. So let's quickly revise this rocket to use decouplers and everything. So just toss that out. Um, let's put a heat shield on here. So there we go. <coughs> mm. Sorry about the cough again. Really sorry. Um, let's see. Okay. So we're using a 1.25 meter. Is that this one? Yeah. So we want to move that down to that stage because that ejects the heat shield, and that detaches what's below it. Okay. So, oh, we need... On here, we have a commutatron. Let's throw a... Uh, get the angle snap on. A goo containment thing. Okay. Still only have the one parachute. So, propulsion. Um, that's the fuel tank I want. We want two of those fuel tanks. We still only have the one liquid engine. So that goes down there like so. Then um, the decoupler goes there. Uh, I don't have any... okay. Let's go for another couple solid rocket boosters down here. with decouplers, just to make things simpler. Uh, propulsion, there we are. Solid fuel booster. Okay, there we go. 
Let's see, that staging makes sense. Yep, that staging all makes sense. Let's uh, call this the Mark II and save it. And launch. This will be our last launch for this episode. Um, as far as the future goes on my channel, I'm going to keep playing... Uh, uh, what's it? X Rebirth. Go ahead and grab a crew report. Oh, we won't get any science from it this time. Okay, never mind. Eh, reset. Um, okay, I want to throttle up because I'll want that later. And... Yeah. Let's go ahead and... Three, two, one... Lift off! SAS on early, please. Because this rocket is kind of sluggish. Ugh, this rocket is really sluggish. And Ferrum Aerospace definitely changes rocket behavior, uh, which is a good thing. It tries to make it more actually realistic. Next stage, next stage. Come on, back on course, back on course. Ugh. No, it won't go on course. No, what's it doing? Um, well, this is going to be a strange flight. This is going to be a very strange flight. Um, shoot, I need to get my liquid engines. I think they're gimbling. I think the liquid engines, liquid engines gimbal. Do they gimbal? I... Uh, oh, this is bad. Um, crew report. Transmit. Observe mystery goo. Cut throttle. Okay. Well, that is something of a failed launch. I don't know what went wrong there exactly. Um, but I had, like, no control. Could not control it. Um, okay, we're fine temperature-wise. Go ahead and blow the heat shield. I don't know if it'll actually drop off until we actually... Okay. <coughs> now, let's see, review report. That'll get us a little science from that, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, keep the data. Well, we should land successfully anyway. Um, review data. How much will we get from that? Seven science if we recover it. Okay. Cool. Keep the data. <coughs> oh, I am so sorry for the coughs. <clears throat> Treat it with some uh, Mountain Dew. Which actually does help. Okay, go ahead and accelerate the descent on this. At least Bill Kerman will survive this mission. And there goes our heat shield, or whatever that is. Some kind of debris. Um, accelerate. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Just get us down. Okay. <coughs> there we go. And recover vessel. Huzzah! That should get us a fair bit of science. Yay! 15 science. I don't know if that's enough to buy anything. Um, 20, 18, 15. Gets us another liquid engine, some landing struts, ooh, and a radial mount parachute. Nice. That's all useful stuff. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, we very quickly want to get... Probably our next target is this. Um, although this is fairly high priority as well. But uh, we really want these radial decouplers. Uh, I don't think this has... Yeah, it doesn't have... Oh, it has the Separatron. Oh, the Separatron's not a decoupler. Silly me. Um, anyway, 
So I will be playing Kerbal Space Program for at least a little while again on my channel. Um, again, we are playing with the Ferrum Aerospace mod and with the Deadly Reentry mod. Um, I didn't want to make it too complicated, but I wanted the additional challenge. Um, we'll play this for, I don't know, a few weeks, maybe a couple months, we'll see. Um, depends on how my schedule looks once I get my single player series for Minecraft back up and running. Um, and uh, how X Rebirth goes. But uh, I think I can do three series if I do just quick episodes for this. Um, if this and my survival single player, or, you know, if none of my series require a lot of editing, I can certainly do that. So that's what I'm going to strive for. Um, so I want to thank everyone for watching. I'm sorry for all the gaps in my schedule recently. Um, I've been really sick, and before that I was really busy. Um, so I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone sticking around. Um, please leave some feedback on my channel. Um, let me know if you like the video. Let me know if you'd like to see something specific. Um, I'm willing to do game spotlights if I already own the game, and I've got over 200 games on Steam. Um, so you're more than welcome to go check out my Steam profile. Um, I think I have it linked in my channel info, I don't remember. Um, if not, I'll try and get that in there. But uh, thank you for watching, everyone. My name is Utoxin. This has been Utoxin Plays Kerbal Space Program, and I will see you next time.